motorcycles in the New England Motorcycle Museum. I've got this extremely rare 1977 OSA 350 Pioneer, Super Pioneer. Um, this bike, I couldn't even find it in the NADA Blue Book. They only had the 250 listed, but the, the other 350s are in the five to $6,000 NADA value uh, range restored. Uh, we just sold a, a, a Pioneer 250 last month for around 5,200. Uh, that was all restored, beautiful bike. This is a perfect candidate for restoration. It runs, the transmission shifts beautifully. Clutch works great, the brakes work perfectly. It only has 1,100 miles on it. Um, we just uh, rebuilt the carburetor, cleaned the carb. It does not have the, the carb boot uh, to the um, airbox fill, uh, dry rotted or something. So it's not running perfectly because it doesn't have the, the uh, air filter. And I don't want to run it anywhere in the dirt like that, of course. I only rode it across the, the parking lot, so uh, it wouldn't suck any dirt or anything. But uh, the original exhaust is in beautiful condition. The um, original seat is in nice shape. The original tank and graphics are all intact, albeit there's a lot of uh, patina on there on the 40-year-old tank. Showing 1,100 miles on it, certainly a bike that's got a lot of life left. Uh, the one thing I noted on this bike, bikes that have been ridden off-road in an enduro race, these steel frames are normally always bent up. This one's absolutely perfect. And so is the, uh, the, the bash plate on the bottom. It doesn't have a single dent in it. So I think this was ridden primarily on the street or, or possibly grass, but the foot pegs, the levers, the, the, the um, brush guard here is perfectly straight. The original um, uh, uh, protector for the brake is in perfect condition. The rims even have the Akron stickers on them, which is something that would power wash off relatively quickly. Uh, the original rims are perfectly straight. I don't see any dents or dings on the front rim. I don't see any dents or dings on the rear rim. The um, rear swing arm has absolutely no play whatsoever, indicating all the bearings are intact. So it really just needs a cosmetic restoration, refresh the paint job, rebuild the carbon. You got yourself a, a six, $7,000 classic. Um, we just got back from Mid-Ohio, which is uh, pretty much Woodstock for dirt bikes. This would, could have been the poster child for Mid-Ohio. Classic, big bore, two-stroke. Fantastic machine. I'm 230 pounds. This thing rips with me on it. Um, I want to rip it up the street on it. Went through the gears, first through fifth. This thing flies. Um, it's not running 100% right because of the, the, the choke in the, uh, you know, it's not going to uh, uh, have any air restriction with that, without the air box of this uh, uh, connected, but it has perfect compression and uh, it's all there. The bike's all there. It has original gas beater, lay down beater shocks, the beater forks. It is going to need new fork seals, so I plan on putting new fork seals on it, a paint job, and a um, Car boot, and you should have yourself one kick ass classic. Uh, the original, check out the original headlight on this thing. Perfectly straight. These normally get all bent up. All the brackets and everything are perfect. All the, the bars, even the levers, the original leather protectors on the levers are intact. The levers are nice and straight. It has the uh, uh, period correct grab on grips in blue matching the blue meter shocks. Um, just a fantastic bike. Absolutely worthy of a, of a full restoration. If you have any questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. We have a um, full uh, internet uh, presence with the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles. You can Google Kaplan Cycles eBay store. If you saw this video online and want to know if the bike's still for sale, go to our Google Kaplan Cycles eBay store. Go to the store, see if it's still on there. We're also on uh, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for Kaplan Cycles and the New England Motorcycle Museum. We buy collections of bikes, new and old parts, accessories, so if you have stuff you want to sell, give us a call. If you want to display something in the museum, we're, we're taking applications for museum bikes, so good luck bidding on this one. I'm going to roll it back in the museum, put it on display. Everybody got a kick out of hearing this thing run. It's a real beast. 350cc two-stroke thing's a monster. So good luck bidding on it. God bless America.